This is part one of my talk about how to display arenagram. The talk is divided into four parts. The first part I shall give an introduction to the topic. In part two I have a quiz, several questions designed to demonstrate why correct display of the arenagram is important. In part three I'll talk about good display and explain what a good display should include and how to achieve this. And in part four I talk about measurement of absolute function, calculating percentage uptake, allowing for kidney depth and dealing with late images. So interpretation of the renogram depends on the curves. The curves are the renogram, so it's important to obtain the correct curves and with correct background subtraction as I described in my talk on how to process a renogram but it's also important to display them correctly so that they don't get misinterpreted. We spend quite a lot of time concerning ourselves with the proper way to process a renogram, but often we don't pay enough attention to the way that the renogram is displayed. That's why I have this separate talk on how to display a renogram. The aim of this talk is to explain the optimum way to display the results of a gamma camera renogram once it's been processed. I'll pay particular attention to making the display easy to understand, uh, giving a correct indication of absolute kidney function, by which I mean how the kidneys perform compared with a normal kidney, uh, and including the results of late images. This talk follows on from my previous talk on how to process a renogram, in which I talked about how to draw the regions of interest, how to perform background subtraction, how to calculate relative kidney function, that is one kidney compared with the other kidney on, in the same patient, and quantification of elimination. So if you haven't already listened to my talk on how to process a renogram, or you're not familiar with how to process renograms, I suggest it's worthwhile listening to at least part of my talk on how to process a renogram before proceeding with the rest of this talk on how to display a renogram. Just a reminder that the renogram is a diagnostic nuclear medicine procedure used to investigate kidney function. We position the patient in front of a gamma camera, either seated or lying down, and the aim is to get a posterior view of the kidneys. Then we inject a suitable radiopharmaceutical, which is a radioactive tracer that's excreted in the urine. And we acquire a dynamic study with the gamma camera, typically one image every 20 seconds for about 30 minutes. Then we analyze those images using a computer to produce curves of activity against time. Those curves are the renogram curves and they demonstrate kidney function. Both function representing uptake by the kidneys and elimination from the kidneys into the bladder. So this is the result of a normal renogram and this is the sort of display that we're aiming to produce in this talk. At the top you see some representative images. The actual renogram was one image every 20 seconds, so there's lots of images in a dynamic sequence. Here we have displayed a representative set of images, in this case every five minutes. On those images we can easily see the kidneys and we've drawn regions of interest in blue around the left kidney, red around the right kidney and green around the bladder. And we've got the computer to produce curves showing how the activity in each region changes with time and then we perform background subtraction as I described in my talk about how to process a renogram. These are the curves that are produced. Here we see the blue curve for the left kidney, the red curve for the right kidney, and the green curve for the bladder. And we can see that during the first three minutes, the left and right kidney curves rise equally quickly, showing that the uptake in each kidney is equally good. Um, in fact, the computer calculates that the left kidney has 52% of the total function and the right 48% of the total function, showing that essentially both kidneys have got equal uptake. And then, after about four minutes, the curves start coming down again and both kidneys empty equally quickly. So, this display 
embodies all the information that we need to interpret the Renogram, and this is the sort of display that we're aiming to produce in this talk. So that's the end of the first part of this talk. In the second part, I'm going to show a set of questions uh, designed to make you think about how we display a Renogram. <coughs>